Hey, what's up guys, Rep here. So recently there's been a very big movement against the company Sweet Baby Inc. Now today we're gonna go over some very explosive updates regarding that company. But yesterday we talked about them and some of the initial drama that started with their company. And to sum that up in a minute before we get into the new stuff, basically Sweet Baby Inc. is a consulting firm for the video game industry. And you can see from their about section using terms like empathetic stories and diversification to describe their goals. You understand that they're woke and a lot of what they're doing is injecting woke nonsense into the companies and games that they're partnering with. And you can see from their client list, they have gotten very deep into the industry despite only being around since 2018. You can see some of the names, very big companies. And here is a list of the games that they have worked on. And this is something again listed on their website. And a lot of people have looked at this list and said, yep. That makes sense. That's why a lot of these games are failures because they have a bunch of woke nonsense in them. And that can be traced back to an identifiable source now, and that is Sweet Baby Inc. So in response to this revelation a lot of people have had about this company, a Steam group was created called Sweet Baby Inc. Detected. And all this group does is track those publicly listed games that Sweet Baby Inc. has worked on that is also shared on their website and provides this to people so they know what games Sweet Baby Inc is working on so they can consider that before they make the purchase. Now, in response to this, about two days ago, multiple employees of Sweet Baby Inc. went on, went on a tirade on Twitter, including this user who led an entire harassment campaign against the creators of the group and demanded that their followers report this group and its creator. You can see also this Felix at home individual with the at Lego butts as their username would also join in on this trying to get this steam group taken down. Now, of course, this had the Streisand effect where they're complaining about this steam group only increased awareness of this group and it has exploded in popularity and now has over 60,000 followers and is growing by thousands every single hour. And I ended yesterday's video with this tweet from Grums, who has been around the related industries for a very long time. And he started making a connection between this current situation with Sweet Babe Yank and Gamergate and some of the active participants in that. And as it turns out, he was entirely correct. So Gamergate, in a very quick and sloppy summary, basically it was a movement exactly 10 years ago where a group called Feminist Frequency started a movement where they were trying to inject their woke agenda into the video game industry. This grift got so far that its leaders, Anita Sarkeesian and Zoe Quinn, spoke before the United Nations. Looking at this picture, there is no picture that captures two more useless groups than Feminist Frequency and the United Nations. But eventually the grift ran dry and feminist frequency shuts down. But little do we know that the people who were involved with that movement and its supporters would entrench themselves deep within the video game industry over the past couple of years. And they did it in a way that was not very upfront and it went behind basically in the shadows. And people didn't know about this for years until now. And remember this Lego Butts user account here. This was one of the people trying to tell their followers to report and take down the Sweet Baby Inc. detected group on Steam. Well, a lot of people have traced that user to direct participants in Gamergate, including Zoe Quinn. This was something that Alex would talk about, and he would highlight the connection from way back in 2014 to as recent as only a few weeks ago. And he also highlights the truly disturbing behavior that these people openly celebrate. See, here's a tweet from 2014, not 10 years ago, where Felix at Lego Buzz decided to at Zoe, saying we exploded their site. OMG us. Zoe responds with at Lego Buzz, oops, we DDoSed something on accident. What they mean is they were having a conversation about a website called the Fine Young Capitalists. This was back in the Gamergate days. And by doing so, they basically sent pretty much all of their ilk to that website, basically just DDoSing that website inadvertently by having that conversation. In fact, here is Zoe Quinn admitting to that from the previous deleted tweets that she made earlier. Number four, the DDoS was nothing other than shitty infrastructure on their part, being unable to handle the traffic from Twitter's convo about them. Ah, yes. Let me go ahead and use my large platform to talk about people and blame it on their infrastructure rather than anything else. So going back to the original post, we can see that Lego butts at Felix at home as direct ties to Zoe Quinn, who also had direct ties to Anir Sarkeesian, 
who also worked on Feminist Frequency and now is directly working with Sweet Baby Inc. So I think after seeing that evidence, it is very clear that there is a very present connection between the employees of Sweet Baby Inc. and some of the participants of Gamergate. Now, speaking of those participants, you have people like Lego Butts here, and a lot of people have been dredging up their tweets, including recent ones from only a few weeks ago like this, which states, I usually get grossed out when straight, white, rich people kiss, but even I think those two are pretty cute. I mean, first of all, like, what is this? Uki Violetta's burner account or something? Like, what's going on here? But there's been a lot of other tweets people have been looking at from this Sweet Baby Inc. employee, including this one, in quotes, saying, I'm so mad because they killed the billionaire who turned evil that I'm going to show how racist I am, end quote, is honestly a pretty funny take to have. Now, this is a reference, of course, to the final scene of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Now, the reason people were upset about this scene had nothing to do with billionaires or racism or anything like that. People were very disappointed by this game as a whole, but particularly this scene because the lines delivered by Batman were the final lines delivered by the now late Kevin Conroy, who is considered the voice of Batman, someone who is beloved within the related franchises. And that's why people were upset because they felt like his final lines of his career were wasted on a bad product. However, let's talk about Suicide Squad some more. This was an absolute failure of a game where even Warner Brothers has come out and said basically uh, lesser companies would have gone bankrupt based on how badly this game is performed. Now, of course, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is one of the games listed on Sweet Baby Inc.'s page as one of the games that they have worked on. Things are starting to add up, aren't they? Which leads us to another person we haven't talked about, another employee of Sweet Baby Inc., the CEO right here, Kim Belair who has a very, very interesting history. Uh, it's a Gundam, did a really good rundown in his recent video about her. I'll put a link to that in the description. But basically, she is the definition of woke nonsense. She has been pushing that stuff for years very publicly. And also, she has a very bizarre self-insert problem where she's constantly self-inserting herself into stories that she's working on. Kind of makes sense when you, you see this whole situation when it comes to things like narcissism, which is very present throughout this company. But anyways, her connection is established by this quote retweet by Ricky here, where a member of uh, of Rocksteady Games is arguing because Rocksteady Games is the company behind Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. And he is trying to basically say, well, we worked with Sweet Baby Inc., but they didn't have that much of an impact on our story and what we were doing, where Ricky would point out tweets that show the exact opposite including this interaction between this Rocksteady employee and Kim Belair, where he says, after 11 years in this industry, I finally did it. A black character on the front of a AAA game. Dreams come true, y'all. Which, by the way, is the most astroturfed, ridiculous achievement I've ever seen in my life. Because in order to do this, they basically took the character Deadshot and made him black for no reason at all. So it's already a weird way to achieve this goal he's going after but also this is a straight up lie everyone knows you could easily find dozens of titles that have black characters on the front of triple a titles like what is this guy talking about but you see kim down here praising this tweet and responding to that this employee of rocksteady game says so glad you were present to help mold his character kim didn't have an impact huh i think it's very obvious based on this exchange that sweet baby inc had an impact on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. I think it's very obvious based on this exchange, as well as the overall direction of the game and some of the choices that Rocksteady Games made. Now, this individual from Rocksteady Games has been fighting in the trenches with two very conflicting goals. On the one hand, trying to praise Sweet Baby Inc. for helping out their game and making great choices, but on the other hand, trying to downplay their contributions to save face on Twitter. Obviously, this isn't working very well. And also, I can think of nothing more poetic than this screenshot right here. So currently, there are more people connected online in the Sweet Baby Inc. curator group than there are for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Ouch. That is very embarrassing for a AAA title, which, by the way, only released 
a month ago. So the fact that they're down to around 500 in-game players is very, very bad. And this really just captures the movement right now, okay? People are saying no to the woke nonsense and the bad titles like Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, and they are rallying behind this Sweet Baby Inc. detected group because it captures the concerns of a lot of gamers that they've been having for years, but now they have an identifiable source that they can link to these problems with the games that they've been consuming over the past couple of years. But moving forward, this probably doesn't surprise anyone at all, but there has been uh, claims that members of Sweet Baby Inc. and their supporters have been leaving some very interesting reviews and posts on this community page for the Sweet Baby Inc. detector. Now, this wouldn't be very surprising if there was some involvement from Sweet Baby Inc. because let's face it, a lot of the people from the Gamergate movement have made false posts all the time. Who could forget this one from Bri Brianna Wu, who was a member of Feminist Frequency, who made this tragic tweet trying to garner sympathy, saying that she was being attacked and her game was getting review bombed by angry men and things like that. Well, unfortunately for her, she never logged out of her developer account. So when she posted the screenshot, it made it very obvious that she was writing her own hate comments. Yeah, that was embarrassing. But let's read some of these discussions on the Sweet Baby Inc. detector page. So this person says, let's diffuse this situation. I know this group claims it isn't trying to kill Sweet Baby Inc., but this is exactly what will happen if you don't stop now. Not all SBI employees are as unreasonable as that one random person on Twitter. They have actual jobs and families to support. It's not like they are hurting anybody. Please consider closing this group. Here's another one saying, if you are against Sweet Baby Inc., you are racist. Sweet Baby Inc., and of course it just describes their mission statement and says down here, SBI is only dedicated in the story part of the game. They don't work on the gameplay. So my question for the anti-SBI people is why you think SBI ruins games. Isn't gameplay the important part of a game after all? Oh my god, this person is the least obvious Sweet Baby Inc. employee. But they go on to say the truth is you hate SBI only because... They add diverse characters, people of color, non-binary, etc. Anything else is just a cheap excuse. Your curator list is as racist as if you made a list of all games with black people in it. This group is against Steam rules and should be taken down. Hopefully the moderation acts quickly. And here's one more very short and sweet message saying, Video games are not for right-wingers. Sorry guys, you're not the audience companies care about, nor the side that creates video games. Otherwise, you would not need to create groups like this. Also, there's a lot of people on Twitter defending Sweet Baby Inc. Like this tweet saying, uh, you got to admit that you're weird with this Sweet Baby stuff because they're pointing out the games they're working on. Uh, again, I think you're weird if you're someone in a hobby like this and you don't care about these things. You let people walk all over your hobby and you're just gonna sit there and take it. No, if you voice your concerns and track the bad actors in your hobby, I think you're doing the right thing. And obviously the impact is getting to Sweet Baby Inc. who is scrambling right now to delete inflammatory posts made by their employees. And it's just making it even more obvious that there is a very big PR nightmare going on over there. And they're aware that the mask is slipping and people are starting to understand the full scope of the scene and all of the issues going on here, which is many in the video game industry and the impact that Sweet Baby Inc., its members, its supporters, that they're having on the gaming industry. People now know an identifiable source of a lot of the problems that gamers have been dealing with for years now, which really could stem back all the way to the original Gamergate, and the pattern is very obvious, and the players are becoming more and more known. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, share all of your thoughts about today's topics in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys next time.